Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Jack Stanley. Oh, <laughs> I'm busy with the next operation now on the eye. You know, um, this has been an ongoing saga for those of you who are aware of what's been going on uh, with my eye. Well, I had my operation today. Here I am, looking a little... I, look, or I kind of look like the Borg or something like that. <laughs> and so, uh, slowly on the mend again. Um, for those of you who have gone through retinal detachment, there are many aspects of retinal detachment and many, many um, after effects, or if we may say, um, side effects. One of these will be that when you have a retinal detachment, um, quite often, it will lead to several other factors. You may have swelling in the eye. You will develop what they call um, extremely dense cataracts. Um, you will also develop scar tissue within the eye, possibly. So, um, I just had my extremely dense cataract. <laughs> I love that term, extremely dense. Well, it sounds like a dumb cataract, doesn't it? I had it removed. And now I'm just in my healing mode, which will take me oh, eh, two weeks, I guess. And um, then we start the next level, which is working on the scar tissue within the eye. So, for those of you, and I have talked to and received wonderful messages from those who are going through retinal detachment and the after effects of it. A couple of things just to mention to you as well, for those of you who will be or possibly going through this, that it can go to the other eye too. That if your body seems to favor such a thing as retinal detachment, that there is the possibility a strong possibility uh, that you that you may that you may um, yeah, unfortunately um, acquire a retinal detachment in the other eye. It doesn't always happen. It's a, it's a poker game in a sense. But if your family has a history of eye issues, and in my family there are some specific issues. Uh, I have a sister who is blind, and uh, she um, suffers, or suffered, I should say, from retinitis, which is basically the, the, the death of the sensors of the eye. And now she is totally blind, and she's an amazingly strong woman. Wow. Amazing. I should do something with her soon. I'm going to try. Let you see what she does. And it makes makes us all look like wimps. <laughs> and uh, she has her dog. She's on her third dog now. So she's been doing this for a while. And she's brilliant in what she does. But... For all of you who do have any kind of uh, issues or have been diagnosed, please make sure you look after all of the various aspects of retinal detachment and all the things that go with it. 
and just be prepared to take care of all these various things and look after them and make sure they are looked after. So, I should be up and running and full of piss and vinegar pretty soon. And uh, this is sort of like working toward the home stretch. You know, this has all been going on since March of of 2016 and now we are in November of 2016 and I'm hoping by the beginnings of uh, 2017 this will all be finally and completely done so just a quick little message thank you very much and uh, see you all soon